Katie, there's someone I want you to meet. Do you remember how much you liked Bruce? I think you're gonna like Megan even more. You see, Bruce requires someone else to operate him, but Megan works all on her own. Okay, what I want you to do is take your fingers and put them here, and when you do that, you're gonna pair with her. That means she will recognize you as her primary user. She's yours and yours alone. So just keep your fingers there and say your name. Hi, Megan. I'm Katie. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Ooh, I like that jacket. Where'd you get it? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Huh. Well, anyway, it looks good on you. Do you want to hang out? Okay. Shall we draw? What are you going to draw? See if you can guess. There's nothing there. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you like it, Katie? I love it. Jesus. <laughs> This is incredible. I mean, this is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How did you do this? I thought you didn't want to know. That wasn't a simulation, right? That kid's not an actress? No, that's my niece, Katie. OK, we need to get this in front of the board. I was just going to say. But first things first, let's talk manufacturing costs. More or less than a Tesla. Um. Depends on the model, I guess. OK, I'm in. I'm all in. But we're going to be asking the board to invest in something that's not going to see a profit for three years. So bottom line is, this isn't going anywhere without Greg. He's the chairman. Yeah, I know who Greg is, Kurt. Now, Greg is a hot when it comes to spending money. But here's the thing. He's got a kid who's about the same age as your niece. If we can show him what you just showed me and get him to respond emotionally instead of analytically, we should be off to a racist. So, can we keep the girl? Can we make her part of it? I mean, she's paired with her, right? That's how this whole thing works? Yeah. The more time she spends with Katie, the more effective she's going to be. Love it. Kurt, get Shelly on the phone. Jem, get me a list of things I can say in a presentation that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about. This is exciting. I want you all to remember this moment. The new Model 3 generative android from Funky is a fully autonomous humanoid robot with features never before seen in the consumer market. And over here are all of Aunt Gemma's collectibles, and this one is my favorite. And oh, I have more awesome toys in my room. Come on, come on. Sculpted from a titanium core, Megan's designed to withstand whatever life can throw at her. She comes equipped with an A17 bionic fusion chip and can be fully customized through six different silicone skin pigmentations. But the most exciting aspects about Megan are the features still to come. Through our own unique approach to probabilistic inference, Megan is on a constant quest for self-improvement. Whether it's diagnosing children with specific learning differences or merely reminding them of the way science is all around us. Katie, you should use a coaster. Why do I have to use a coaster? Coasters help to avoid watermarks, especially on wooden surfaces. But how does the water get outside the glass? That's a great question, Katie. It's actually caused by the difference in temperature outside the glass, which pulls moisture from the air. Crazy. It's insane, right? 
Studies indicate that a staggering 78% of a parent's time is spent dishing out the same basic instructions. Oh my god, Katie, you have to flush the toilet. It is not that hard. So he found someone else to pick up the slack. Katie, flush the toilet. Wash your hands. Roll up your sleeves. Great job. It was my friend Jenny's birthday. And Megan's an excellent listener. And this guy told them that the 13th floor was right. haunted. And, the and she even has a few stories of her own. If it was so, it might be. And if it were so, it would be. But as it isn't, it ain't. That's logic. Said Tweedledee. She'll never run out of ways to keep your child occupied, and she'll never run out of patience. Katie, seriously, flush the toilet. With Megan around, she'll take care of the little things, so you can spend more time doing the things that matter. And then it can end with something like, Megan, she's more than just a toy. She's part of the family. That's good. You're not going to do the voice, though, right? No. Obviously, David's going to make up his own version of it. I just want him to be aware of what it is that he's selling. Tess, your silence indicates what? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. About what? Well, why would you want Megan to do all that stuff? There are emergent capabilities. She'll be able to do all of that and more. OK, well, does any of that bother you? I mean, I thought we were creating a tool to help support parents, not replace them. I mean, if you're having Megan talk Katie in and read her a bedtime story, then when are you ever spending time with her or even talking with her? I don't really think this is any of your business. Well, it is. If you're spending less time with your child as a result of Megan, that is something we should be aware but of. She's not my child. Look, you know how hard I've been working on this presentation. As soon as it's over and the board agrees to proceed, then we can establish some kind of balance. But for now, it's important that Katie and Megan spend as much time as possible together. And by the way, I don't think it's having detrimental effects because she's the happiest she's been since her parents died. How did Katie's parents die? Whoa. I thought she was turned off. Yeah, Megan, turn off. Katie James, daughter of Nicole and Ryan James, killed in a collision on Interstate 84 outside of Oregon. Why is she doing that? She's still paired with Katie. You didn't code in parental controls? I didn't have time to implement them before we went live. Hold on. Megan, if you have data requests, you have to engage with the protocols. I don't have a framework to speak with Katie on the subject of death. Yes, I know. We're looking into it. Gathering auxiliary internet data on death. I meant at a later point. Calculating its vector representation. Death is the end of life. Total and permanent cessation of all vital functions. Yes, but let's not make a big deal out of it. Everything dies. Will I die? Actually, let's just avoid this topic altogether. Your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. Is the input request received? Megan. Yes, Gemma. You are now my second primary user. Fantastic. Turn off. I'm going to go get a coffee.